हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट आई होप यू ऑल आर इन जॉइन ऑनलाइन ईवीएस क्लासेस सो हियर आई एम बैक विथ वन मोर लेसन ऑफ ईवीएस डेट इज लेसन सेवनटीन एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू ओपन योर ईवीएस बुक टू अंडरस्टैंड द लेसन प्रॉपरली टॉपिक्स we are going to discuss in this lesson are introduction the story of communication means of communication that is personal communication mass communication and communication without speaking now first introduction what is communication children as you know we all like to keep in touch with our friends and relatives by meeting them as often as possible but it is not always possible to visit them so how do we stay in touch with our loved ones we can write them letters make them phone calls or send emails sending or receiving information or messages is called communication in other words you can say that the exchange of information between two or more people is called communication now the story of communication in early civilization early humans used sound hand gestures that is movement of a part of body or sign to communicate with each other they used to draw different pictures on the walls of caves to convey their messages it continued till they learned to speak a language communication by drawing symbols started many years ago they used to draw these symbols on animal skin or palm leaves that represented different sounds earlier humans did not know how to write they began writing with the invention of paper and the letters of the alphabet in year 1443 after the invention of printing press many books get printed at the same time here you can see in the picture ancient paintings on the wall of caves now our next topic is means of communication children whatever information is there people share it by communicating communication is done by using different ways called as means of communication whatever ways of communication is there it involves sending and receiving messages means of communication can be of two types that is personal communication and mass communication long ago trained pigeons carried messages from one place to another letters were tied to their feet when the pigeon reached the destination the letter was removed by the receiver and the pigeon was sent back with a reply but these means were slow and not reliable also now first we will see personal communication when we communicate with one person at a time is called personal communication it takes place between two persons one is the sender and the other is receiver means of personal communication include letters telephones mobile phones fax email and telegraph in personal communication first we will see postal services 
Postal communication is one of the most oldest and cheapest means of communication. In India, approximately all cities, towns and villages. Post offices are there. We can buy postcards, inland letters, stamps and stamped envelopes from post offices. They can be sent to any place in India. Aerograms are the letters that are sent to the people staying in another country. Here you can see the picture of a postcard, a stemmed envelope and aerogram. Letters are carried by road, rail, air and water transport to different cities and countries. If we want to send money, we can send it from a post office through money orders. Gifts are sent as parcels to our friends and relatives. Parcel can be anything that is wrapped in paper to be sent to someone. Letters generally take time to reach their destination. If we speed post the letters, it takes less time to reach. A speed post is usually expensive in comparison to normal post. With the help of registered post, we send important documents. We can also send letters and parcels through courier services. Courier services are faster than normal post. Here you can see picture of a post office. Now the journey of a letter. Here we will see that how we can post a letter. First of all, before posting a letter, it should be sealed in a stemmed envelope. Now, on envelope, the name of the person to whom we are sending the letter, the address and the PIN, that is, Postal Index Number should be written clearly. After that, the envelope that contains letter is dropped in a nearby letter box. And yes, one more thing don't forget to write, that is your address on the envelope. The postman collects all the letters which are dropped inside the letter box and he takes these letters to the post office. In post office, these letters are stamped by post office seals. After that, they are sorted and kept in different boxes according to different states and cities. Now, the letters are packed in mailbox and sent to different states and places by different means of transport. After that, again letters are stamped and sorted according to their areas and addresses. Finally, the letter is delivered to its destination by the postman of that particular area. Now, communication through telephones. The fastest means of communication is the telephone. On the telephone, we can easily talk to our friends or relatives. In our own city, in another city or even in another country. What we have to do is just dial the person's phone number to call them. Earlier, telephones with wires were used by the people which is now replaced by wireless or cordless telephones. People who don't have telephones, they use PCOs that is public call offices to make call anywhere. 
by paying a small amount of money. However, due to mobile phone, now PCOs are rarely seen. In first picture, you can see telephone with wire and in second picture, you can see that cordless phone that is without wire. Now, next topic is dialing. We need a specific STD code to call the people living in other states. STD means subscriber trunk dialing. STD code is dialed along with the phone number of a person. So, if a person who lives in Pune wants to call Delhi, he has to first dial 011 and then the person's phone number. The STD code links people within the country. Now, if we want to call outside the country, we require an ISD code. It is also dialed with the phone number. ISD stands for International Subscriber Dialing. The ISD code links people of different countries. That is the basic difference between STD and ISD. Nowadays, each and every person is having mobile phones. They are easy to carry and can be used for calling people from anywhere. We can also send text messages through SMS that is short messaging service. Phones that function with the help of internet are called as smartphones. They work like mini computers. In present time, mobile phones and smartphones are the part of our life. They have made our life so easy. Now, facts. What is facts? Written messages can be easily sent by a fax machine. And what is fax machine? Fax machine is a special type of machine that sends an exact copy of a printed or a handwritten document through telephone lines. But you can send any messages by the fax machine to that person only who has also a fax machine. Now, communication through computers. Not only mobile phones, computers are also one of the most important modes of communication. We can send videos, pictures, letters and books to anyone and anywhere by an electronic mail or email. Now the question arises what helps us to send emails, pictures, etc. So the internet helps us to send emails, pictures and videos from one computer to another. Internet helps us to see and talk to each other through video calling. But for this it is necessary that both the sender and the receiver have proper internet connection on their computers. Now, second type of communication is mass communication. And what it is? When communication takes place between many people, it is known as mass communication. Modes of mass communication include Newspapers, magazines, radio, television, internet, cinema, and advertisements. Mass communication is also known as mass media. Now, first we'll see newspapers and magazines. They help us to gain knowledge about different events happening around the world. In newspaper and magazines, 
printed sheets of paper are there they are published in different languages so that people of different places can understand it properly radio radio is a very common means of communication it is an instrument that provides information songs and other programs through sound that we can listen to television one of the most popular means of mass communication is television it is an audio visual medium that is we can hear as well as see all the programs news sports entertainment films etc film or cinema film or cinema is also an audio visual medium of communication it is an an ultimate source of entertainment for all of us it also helps in educating people computers in present time we all are familiar with computers that help us in various ways in getting information related to the weather we get news reports from all over the world with the help of internet internet provides us different knowledge and information nowadays we can do online shopping and online banking with the help of the internet e readers and tablets these gadgets we use for reading books listening to music not only this we can also watch films on these gadgets it works like a computer on which we can do any work what work we do on a computer communicating with without speaking children when you were a baby you could not able to speak then also you were able to communicate with your parents and other family members if you will see around yourself you will find many people who communicate their feelings without speaking some people cannot talk and hear they communicate through signs or hand movements that is known as sign language now children you will see that some can speak but then also they communicate without speaking through their facial expression gestures and postures of their bodies you can take example of dancers and theater artists they communicate through different movements their gestures are called mudras and facial expressions are called bhavas in nature all living beings communicate with each other in various ways for communication it is important to understand each other's language communication is a way of expressing our ideas and thoughts now children it's the time for an activity which is related to one game the name of this game is pictionary it is a fun game that requires one player to draw an image indicating the word where the other player has to guess it correctly for this game you will need a paper or a board or a pencil and a pencil marker now how you will play this game write down different words on the pieces of paper and drop them in a bowl now you have to pick up the pieces of paper and draw it on the board or in your rough copy without telling the other player that what it is alternately other person will draw and you will guess thank you